Hi. 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 Good morning. This is the 15th year of the Hampton Stock Fest and the eighth year that we've had this local program called Young Voices at the Cinema. The film we're showing today is called Pony Boys. It's about two young boys taking an amazing road trip. I hope you'll enjoy it. And we're gonna start off with Roger Sherman, who's gonna be doing a short workshop before the film and then a longer one after the film. Thank you, Marla. Thank you all and welcome. I assume you all, most of you, have smartphones and you use them. How many of you actually shoot video? A lot of you shoot video. Great. Well, what I'm going to do today is based on my book, Ready, Steady, Shoot, A Pro's Guide to Smartphone Video. Everybody stand up. Teachers, too. Take your hand like it's your phone, OK? And when you shoot video, what, how do you shoot? Do you shoot vertically or horizontally? When you're shooting, you want to think about what the end result is. So if Benny is shooting vertically and the end result is a screen like this, look how much of the screen he's missing. Right? So if you're shooting to watch it on your television, should you shoot it? This way, vertically, or horizontally? Horizontally. horizontally. OK, Benny. So that's, that's the way you want to shoot. You want to hold your camera steady, right? You don't want to be jerking all around. Jack's got the right idea. See how he's holding that? Like this. Spread your feet like there you go. And bend your knees just a little bit. If you do that, you can be steadier. Films are made of different shots. Films are made basically of wide shots. Action. Now let's walk forward. That's a medium shot. Strike a pose. And now we're going to go closer. This is a close-up. There's one bonus shot. And this is called an extreme close-up. You want to establish a scene. You want to start, if we're, if we're making a film about today, about young voices, we already filmed you guys walking in. And now we're filming me talking to you. But we want to establish that this is where you are. So we start with a wide shot. And then we want to figure out, we want to get more intimate, more up close and personal. So we want to go to a medium shot. Who is this guy? And then, to be even more, we want to go to a close up. And if you, if you vary your shots like this, you're going to make interesting films. If all of your shots are wide like this, no one's going to like it. I want you to think about when you're watching the film about mixing shots. The largest World's Fair ever, Expo 67, the international twin island wonderland. I just is ready for its really game. wanted to go to the Expo. but. There was no way financially that we were going to be able to get to Montreal. My mother always thought a little bit outside the box, as they say. I have no idea when my mother broke the news to him that, yeah, his two sons, 9 and 11, were going to take the Shetland pony and a pony cart up to Montreal. It never entered my mind that it could be dangerous. We were on this trip, on this adventure, no idea where it was going to go. When my children were 11 and 9, would I have let them go? My brother and I were celebrities. It was everywhere we went. Are you one of the pony boys? It was our ticket to go to Montreal. 
I had no idea that it would turn into what it turned into. We have a very special guest. We have the filmmaker himself, Eric Stagge. Would you like to come down? How did this film come about, Eric? Well, uh, this was probably the easiest uh, story I've ever come across. Jeff, the younger of the two boys, lives about five doors down the street from me. So let's have a vote. They say in the film that those two boys went by themselves from Boston to Montreal. Who thinks they actually did go by themselves? When I watched the film, I thought, wait a minute, they keep, somebody was documenting their trip, right? So was somebody filming the entire time? That was just one day. A film crew was with them for one day. One day. So this is a very interesting thing about film making. You can make it seem like somebody was filming the whole time. I need a whole bunch of help here. OK, I want you to line up here and go from here down that way. When you are making films, zooming is death because you can't hold the camera steady. How's she doing? What do you think we should do instead of zooming? Get closer. Exactly. We'll get closer. How many shots can we create where the subject is just walking in the same place? Action. And back. Wow. Do we have another idea? Walk with them. That sometimes is called trucking or a traveling shot. I like that. Keep them in the frame. A closer up. That's good. Let's do that. And action. Walk that way. And come back. And cut. Action. OK, and go back. <laughs> and cut. Circle him. I'm getting nauseous. Well, how about the feet? And come back. So in professional film crews, we actually have what we call a spotter, a production assistant helps. They don't pull him or push him, but as he walks backwards, okay, start walking towards me. And I'm going like this, and if there's something on the street, I can move him away a little bit, and I can guide him so he doesn't fall down. Uh, that's a tilt up. And now she tilts down. Great. This is called a follow shot. Action. <laughs> if you watch television, here's, here's the trick. See how many shots are static. Static means not moving. And see how many shots move. And your films will be better if they're not all over the place. And I thank you for coming today.